Welcome to the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Waterloo, the epicenter of technology talent. Waterloo Engineering is Canada's largest engineering school and is ranked among the top 50 worldwide, which is an awesome accomplishment for such a young university. At Waterloo Engineering, we encourage hands-on learning and have created the spaces to ensure everyone has a place to work, play, and learn. From classrooms to labs and student garages to maker spaces and study halls, it's all about empowering students, faculty, and staff to work together to solve some of the world's biggest challenges. Here in Engineering 7, Waterloo Engineering's front door, we are shaping the future of engineering. The Engineering Outreach Team offers a wide range of engineering-based programming to expose Ontario's youngest students to the ideas and excitement of STEM. The RoboHub is a testing and training facility that enables innovative research with a unique fleet of diverse robots. Augmenting this fleet is the RoboHub's high-precision indoor positioning system and a fully equipped control and command center. At Waterloo Engineering, we love our coffee and donuts, served up in our two C&D shops run by the Engineering Society. Everyone comes here, especially the profs, because the coffee is cheap and full of magical caffeine. Hi, Lily. The Engineering Ideas Clinic is where undergrad students work in teams to tackle open-ended problems. In their first few weeks on campus, new students get right to work on design day projects. That's the best way to learn engineering by applying concepts and building things. The Ideas Clinic also has a fully equipped machine shop and a structural frame to test civil engineering principles. This space is networked with other high-tech teaching features in E7, like the sensor bridge on the fifth floor and a weather window on the sixth floor. In E7, you'll also find world-class research labs focused on cybersecurity, biomedical and bionics research, and additive manufacturing. It's also home to the Center for Theoretical Neuroscience and the Brain Lab. The lecture halls are pretty sweet, and so are these student garages that offer lots of space for group work as students prepare for final year capstone design projects. There are plenty of quiet study areas throughout the engineering buildings, like this one here in E7. We have a dedicated space for business pitches for our entrepreneurs, the Margaret and Andrew Stevens Pitch Space. We are the only engineering faculty in the world to have an embedded Master of Business, Entrepreneurship and Technology, the MBET degree, from the Conrad School of Entrepreneurship and Business. E7 is connected to E5, and the Department Offices for Electrical and Computer Engineering, Mechanical and Mechatronics Engineering, and Systems Design Engineering are in these buildings. E5 was uniquely designed to provide many amazing hands-on labs and facilities, like the wood shop, the student machine shop, the paint shop, and the rapid prototyping center. The CEDRA Student Design Center in E5 was created to provide extracurricular student teams with collaborative workspaces. Waterloo students from all faculties are part of competitive teams working in these bays. Teams here are getting ready to compete at a range of events all over the world. Waterloo has many internationally renowned research centers, like CIARS, the Center for Intelligent Antenna Radio Systems. CIARS labs offer one of the highest precision and widest frequency range environments for microwave terahertz testing in North America. The Real-Time Embedded Software Group, the Emerging Radio Systems Group, the Center for Pattern Analysis and Machine Intelligence, and many more advanced research facilities are all located here in E5. Let's cross back through E7 and visit E6, home to the Department of Chemical Engineering. This impressive 115,000 square foot building features labs for graduate students and faculty working in the areas of polymer science, biochemical and biomedical engineering, advanced materials and green reaction, electrochemical and regenerative nanomedicine, and more. In E6, there is also a glass blowing shop for custom requirements that support research work across the campus. Just as our E7, the Autonomous Vehicle Research Intelligence Lab or Avril, is a single-story, 7,000-square-foot building that is home to many of the University of Waterloo's ambitious autonomous vehicle projects. Students, researchers, and staff collaborate in this space to turn the future of autonomous transportation into reality. The Center for Bioengineering and Biotechnology is located in EC4, along with one of the world's largest multi-scale additive manufacturing labs, MSAM. It's also home to the Vision and Image Processing Lab for groundbreaking artificial intelligence research, and the Intelligent Technologies for Wellness and Independent Living Lab, where researchers are working on innovative technologies in partnership with the Schlegel Research Institute for the Aging. 
The U Waterloo campus is easily accessible by public transit, including the Ion light rail that connects the Waterloo region. Across the Ion tracks to the west side of campus, the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department offers one of Canada's largest combined civil, environmental, geological, and architectural engineering programs. Here in the Douglas Wright Engineering Building, DWE, you'll find our Environmental and Water Resources Labs and Soil Lab. With a lake, stream, and pond right on campus, students don't need to go far to complete basic field work. The Wad I Make Lab in DWE is equipped for mechanical and mechatronics engineering students to work on prototypes, design projects, class activities, and whatever else they can think of. A founding philosophy of Waterloo is now one of our most distinguishing features, co-op. Here at the Tatum Centre, we have all the resources needed to match the most exciting and relevant industry co-op jobs with our students. While we're over here, let's stop in for a drink and a bite at the Grad House. This building is the original farmhouse that the campus grew around. The Management Sciences Department offices are in Carl Pollock Hall, or CPH, which is also home to the Engineering Society Orifice and the original C&D. And if you like a bit of social time with friends, this is where Poets is located. Shh, only engineering students are allowed in here, so we're just going to take a quick peek. CPH has many labs, including one that makes lightning, the High Voltage Engineering Laboratory. The Smart Hybrid Electric Vehicle Systems Lab has built a scaled mini city and is changing the way urban planners view the world. There's also the Motion Research Group, where even Tony Stark would feel right at home. Let's check out Engineering 2 and 3, home to Civil Engineering Structural Dynamics Identification Control Lab, Geotechnical Research Lab, and the Precision Welding Lab. Students with computer labs on their schedules will end up here in the WEEF Lab. If you're one of those people who likes to break things to see what happens, the Waterloo Forming and Crash Lab is for you. It's essential to Waterloo's expertise in automotive engineering, along with the Green and Intelligent Automotive Lab. In EIT, the Center for Environmental and Information Technology, you'll discover the Broadband Communications Research Lab, and obviously, dinosaurs, because no matter how old you are, you'll always love dinosaurs. If you take a six minute walk toward the north part of campus, you'll find the Energy Research Center. The walk may be longer if you're waylaid by the legendary Canadian geese who think they own this campus. In the ERC, you'll find the Fuel Cell and Green Energy Lab, the Air Pollution and Innovation Lab, as well as some of the CR's researchers. In the Davis Center, we have the Mechatronics Vehicle Systems Lab, the Precision Controls Lab, the Waterloo Artificial Intelligence Institute, Waterloo AI, and the Center for Integrated Radio Frequency Engineering. Another iconic building on campus is the Mike and Ophelia Lazaridis Quantum Nano Center. Designed to meet the highest scientific standards for control of vibration, humidity, electromagnetic radiation, and temperature. It is home to the Institute for Quantum Computing, the Waterloo Institute for Nanotechnology, and the largest undergraduate nanotechnology engineering program in Canada. Not all of our labs are located on the main campus. The U Waterloo Live Fire Research Facility contains space equipped with advanced resources that support data analysis and fire modeling. Basically, they light stuff on fire and watch it burn. The Waterloo Centre for Automotive Research, WATCAR, is the largest university-based automotive research centre in Canada. Researchers and grad students utilize the outdoor road test track for many advanced trials and have fun burning out tires and testing maneuvers of autonomous vehicles. At North Campus, the Research Advancement Centre is home to the Quantum Photonic Devices Lab and other engineering labs and facilities. The School of Architecture, also part of the Faculty of Engineering, is located in the heart of downtown Cambridge. This historic building, alongside the Grand River, offers an inspirational study setting for undergraduate and postgraduate students pursuing architecture degrees. As an immersive campus in an urban setting, the school shares an architecture and design library, exhibition galleries, and a public auditorium with community neighbors. Waterloo is the only Canadian school of architecture with a permanent international study location in Rome, Italy, one of the richest architectural environments on Earth. Waterloo is the school of choice for engineering graduate students from around the world. Students who complete their master's or PhD here have access to the finest research labs in the world and become integral members of their research teams, exploring emerging technologies and forging new frontiers in engineering and design. 
and at the University of Waterloo, students and faculty own 100% of their intellectual property. This creator-owned policy has been a major catalyst for Waterloo's commercialization success for many of our entrepreneurial student and faculty teams. Waterloo Engineering is the epicenter of technology talent, and while there are Waterloo engineers working everywhere in the world, they all started here. That was a great tour, but I think we left a few things out. What did we miss? We didn't mention all the fun stuff. Do you mean things like our annual engineering day? Well, that is an awesome day, but what about the athletics building, football field, food courts, libraries, the Student Life Center, campus wellness services, residences, Phil's, Morty's, Mel's, Ethel's, Chainsaw, and tons of other stuff. It's Waterloo Engineering. There's always more to see. But come check it out for yourself. <laughs>